Hey guys and gals, Homestead Prepper, and uh, I wanted to show y'all, share a little trick with you on how to make these little adapters right here. Now you can buy them, but they're really expensive, and they're not really that hard to make. Now this one, you know, doesn't look all that great, but it cost me nothing. I had stuff on hand to do it. So let's uh, let's see how I did it. Okay, you're going to need a few things. Uh, the first thing you need is uh, uh, you can use a new piece of pipe. Now this is an old piece of uh, carp tubing that came off of my uh, dump trailer hydraulics and I'm not using it so I uh, already cut this piece off and I've already made that piece but uh, you just need a piece of copper tubing. It doesn't have to be that long. Uh, the next thing of course you're going to need is some wire and this was a piece of wire that I found in a dumpster and it uh, looks like it'll be plenty big enough for making battery terminals so so scrap tubing some scrap wire and you're going to need a um, tubing cutter for that and this is just a pair of uh, regular old lineman pliers it has a crimper in it that'll work um, a pocket knife, a hammer, and you're going to need a drill bit for whatever size hole you need to make for that. So let me uh, let me get started here. And I would say that's about two inches or 50 millimeters. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I've already cut this piece of wire right here. And I'm just going to put that in there like that. And it uh, it's soft copper, so it it uh, crimps really easy. So and that is on there pretty good. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and bend that up a little bit more, and I may crimp it again. Okay, that's that's on there pretty good next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this out and then to dress it up a little bit I'm just going to cut this down with these uh, pliers right here Now, I know a lot of y'all are saying that doesn't look too hot, but I'm not finished yet. And on my solenoid, it's somewhere between a quarter inch and five sixteenths, so I'm just going to drill it out five sixteenths. And I'm just going to put a hole in that.
And there you go. One battery terminal. You can clean it up a little bit. Uh, it's just going on my dump trailer. I'm not going to be entering any uh, shows or contests with it. It's just for function. And uh, I know that looks pretty nasty right there, but what we can do. little electrical tape right there and there you have a homemade terminal adapter and you saved yourself all kinds of money um, I priced some of these up at the AutoZone and they were seven to eleven dollars so I needed two of them so anyway it's relatively quick and easy anybody could do it okay um, here's a couple of my electrical terminals that I made and it's hooked up and uh, this is an old solenoid this isn't working anymore I uh, didn't want to remove it and risk any damage to the pump uh, this is a solenoid off of a 1973 Ford pickup truck and I'm very familiar with it and I uh, made the terminal for this and this goes to here now I didn't make a terminal for that I figured it could just bolt in here just like it's supposed to and I thought I had some small terminals. I didn't have them. And I went ahead. This is 14 gauge wire. And I went ahead and used the same piece of pipe and made them out of that. And I need to put a switch in here. That way nobody can uh, play with this out in the parking lot somewhere if I'm parked. Um, let's give it a go. Turn that up. Push this button right here. close that um, and it, it is working so all right well the homemade terminals work and to lower it I've got this other valve here let's let's open that up and you see that thing comes down just like that so there's a no-cost solution guys for some terminals that are in my opinion highway robbery what they charge especially for the larger ones Homestead Prepper out. I uh, also wanted to add in there that I saved uh, the gas and the time it would take to get up to an auto parts store and buy those terminal adapters. So I, uh, I saved all the way around, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there.